I'm starting tails with some construction lines. So the head shape, roughly a shape sort of like this. Then the body is going to be underneath here that comes around like an oval shape. And then the tail comes up and around and out like so. I'm going to start with his arm. So his arm comes out and I'm using a 0.3 multi-liner comes out and then we have the hand coming around like so and then another little line another line and this is sort of like an oval shape now his finger and thumb curves around back into here like so and he's got another finger that pokes out and around like that another finger comes out like so and then he's got his other fingers, one, two, and then that comes in like that. So there's his hand. Now we've got the belly of tails that comes down and around. Then we have, which then turns into a white piece here and then turns into his leg that comes, one comes down here like so, and another line down. Then we have this part that comes around. This would be another oval shape here. Comes down and around and then kicks back like so. Comes around. So here we have his leg going into his boot. Now Tails, I've seen Sonic 2, such a cool character with all these gadgets and how he helps out Sonic. And it comes around. And then there's this other little bit that comes down there like so. Then he's got his boot that comes out pointy and then back around like so and then around and then there's a red bit that comes around like so and then you've got the sole of the shoe we'll put that on there around like this so the front of the shoe and the sole comes in there and then his other boot is quite tricky because it's just in behind here so it comes out and around and it finishes in line with here. So when you're looking at how to draw things, and if you're looking at a picture, compare where things are in relation to each other, and that can be a big help for your drawings. And there's his shoe, and that bit, and there's red, and it comes out like that. And then we're going to bring this out, and his legs tucked up, so his legs bent, so that line comes out. And then there's a slight gap between there and there. And then this would be the rest of his shoe coming in behind. I'm going to draw these parts coming out from his whiskers, I guess they are. One, two. Now this one comes out three. And he's got four. So it comes down and then up and around and curves back down like so into there and then we've got a little nose and you've got a big smile on his face he seems to always be pretty happy he's a sort of happy-go-lucky character with cool little inventions and that's his tongue so and there's a darker bit on his tongue as well and then his head comes up and around so in this line bring that up and around we've got to put his ear coming out so they've got a big ear and it's almost like a rounded triangle. There's his ear. Now some, you, you might have seen some of my other Sonic drawings. I've got Knuckles and Sonic himself and Super Sonic. You could put them together to create some sort of Sonic the Hedgehog montage with lots of different characters. Watch till the end for a sneak peek of the one that I did. There we go, we've got lots of curved lines in that part. Then the head comes over like so, curved line there. The other ear is behind, but we've got these three little little bits that come off, almost like his fringe. So I'm just going to bring this line up, and I need to leave a gap for where those fringe lines come out. So one comes down here like this, and around. The other one comes out like so and kicks up and across. 
and in, and then the last one comes up and out like so. And that's like the fringe of him. And then he's got his ear that tucks in behind here, comes up, almost looks a little bit like the Sydney Opera House, the ears. Pretty cool building. And then down, an iconic building in Australia, obviously, the Sydney Opera House. We've just got to finish off the bottom. So he's going to, whoops, he's going to bring his bottom around. And I've made that, turn that into an arrow, so I'll fix that up. And he's got his tail, big sweeping curve for the tail. And another part for the tail. Brings that in. And then this tail comes out. And we have some curves. One, two bits. So he's got two tails. Now he's got all these cool lines here. So down, back up, a couple of little bumps. Down, one bigger one. And then we can bring it around like that. There's tails. Then we've got some more. One, two bumps. And then curving it back the other way this time. And I'm going to put a little extra one in there. So now on the side here, he has a couple of little spikes. One, and then another one there. And then another one that you see. And then his arm comes out like so. And then his hand is a shape like this. One, two, with the curve. Be sure with this hand, I'm just going to show you how I would structure it. You can do a oval shape for the hand, you get the idea, so yeah, and I'm just going to make these fingers slightly smaller, I've just checked and I've gone, yeah, they need to be a little bit smaller, just to match, so they don't look, this one's closer to us, so it's bigger, so I'm just going to make this one a little bit smaller, that's how I've structured up that hand, looks good, i am just got to get rid of that little bit, I'll show you a little trick on how to do that later on we have an eye and he's got a bit of a black a bit there and he's got an eyeball like an oval shape then he's got this oval shape with a bit more of a black bottom there there's one eye now the other eye because it's closest to us we see more of it and it's in sort of position there so just above there remember compare keep trying doing your best I would recommend drawing in pencil first and then doing it in pen. So this eyeball needs to be the same and it's an oval shape like so with the other oval bit in the middle and there's a big white patch. So that's the pupil. And when we color this in, it's gonna look even better. I'm gonna go around it in a 0.5. See if my jelly roll pen will get rid of that. We've got a jelly roll pen. We've got some white out that can help as well. Now I'm just thickening up the outer line to make it look good for you guys. Thanks for joining me guys. I will see you next time. Cheers. Bye for now. See ya.